What's good YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to overclock your controller. It's a very quick and easy process and I would recommend everybody to do this. First, we're gonna to need to get to this page. The link to this page is in the description, so make sure you click that. And then once you get here, you're gonna click the third one. Make sure you click this one. Once you click that, it's gonna open up this page and then over to the right, we have a download option and you're just gonna click that. You can see it's downloading for me up here. It might show up down here, depending on your settings for your computer, but we're gonna open up that file. And once we do that, it's going to look like this and make sure you click extract all. You can extract it anywhere, put it in any location you want. I'm just gonna put it in my downloads. So once that's completed, it's going to look like this. You see it's in my downloads. I have the driver and the four other items. So what I wanna do is click this driver folder. And then once I'm in that driver folder, I wanna click setup. This will pop up on your screen, just click yes. And next you'll get to this page. It's typically filtered on mice. You wanna click that and then go to all. Once you're in this page, you wanna find your controller. Mine is right here, this Xbox One Elite controller. This controller is already overclocked and I know this because it says yes in filter, 1000 in rate and the interval is one. So if you think your controller is already overclocked, you can verify by making sure it has these three items, but if not, you'll need to overclock it. So I'll plug in a controller that's not overclocked and we can go through the steps. So I just plugged in the controller that's not overclocked. As you can see, it's this Xbox controller. It says no right here, default four. So what we need to do is overclock it. You wanna hover over this area right here in the child's name. And then once you're hovered over that, click install service. Click open and then go down here to default and make sure you click 1000, click install service again, click open. And then once that's done, you want to click filter on device, click install service again, open. And then once that's done, you want to unplug the controller. It disappears and then plug it back in. And then you can see right here, it says yes, 1001. And that matches my controller that's already overclocked. And this is how you can verify that the controller is now overclocked. It makes a huge difference and it helps a lot with the input lag. You should definitely notice a difference. And that is a quick and easy tutorial on how to overclock your controller. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and comment down below. Also, if you have any issues or you're running into any problems, leave a comment and I'll try my best to help you. Appreciate the love.